This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by GoToAssist. Hello and uh, welcome to a very shaky camera episode of Hack 5. My name is Darren Kitchen, it's your weekly dose of Technolust, and this is probably one of the most difficult shows I've had to do in a while. I'm uh, really not feeling this episode, but uh, it's after hours, it's the weekend, I'm shooting this solo, I'm kind of going for a little bit of a hike here and I thought I would uh, I would uh, talk about Aaron. Um, I know it's been all over the news. In fact, I covered it on Threatwire. I'm going to air some of that here. So, um, anyway, I guess it's good enough place as any, really. Uh, I've been really distraught about the news. And I know I've covered it in detail, and I know uh, it's been all over the news, but, uh, you know... We, we've just suffered a great loss because Aaron was a, a hero among hackers and, you know, he fought so much for internet freedom, kind of the, the poster child of, you know, the SOPA and PIPA resistance and, you know, I was just recently lucky enough to attend the EFF's um, Internet Freedom Day event here on January 18th in San Francisco and, and got to hear from uh, Aaron's friends and uh, I'm actually I'm pretty sad that I'm going to be missing the uh, Internet Archive Memorial on um, January 24th, this Thursday, in uh, San Francisco. So I guess I'll give you a heads up if you're in the Bay Area and can make it to that. But, um, you know, I'm just sad that we've lost one of our own because I, I didn't expect us, you know, I never expected to uh, to have to deal with this on this show to, you know, like we we've lost people in technology, you know, like like Steve Jobs, but I don't know for some reason that the hacker culture is so uh, the the community is so new and so young, and Aaron was so young, like our age, and uh, you know we still have like figures with us like uh, Captain Crunch, even you know, so this was really unexpected and. Um, I know we've all lost and we're going to continue to. It's just, you know, and God knows I've dealt with my own grief, but I just never expected these worlds to collide. So I guess what I'm saying, you know, is that my heart goes out to the family of Aaron Schwartz and, and, and their friends and that I hope that we can all take something from this and do something positive with that energy because, you know, it's really easy, especially as hackers, especially as geeks, to become insular, to, you know, shut the proverbial computer room door and not have to do, deal with this, but the, the reality of the situation is you eventually have to, and so I know that this isn't the episode of Hack 5 you were expecting to tune into, and, and it's really easy to just close this uh, video and not think about this, but at a certain point it's going to come up and you'll have to deal with it no matter what, and so... Um, you know, I just think that we owe it to Aaron to, to continue to fight, you know, for it, for internet freedom, for, for all of the things that he believed in. And, um, I, I guess what I'm saying is don't be alone in this. So, you know, whether it's the, uh, the forums or IRC, or even if you're just going to find your local hacker space, you're going to find like-minded people who are feeling the same way, and just feel free to speak from your heart. Don't be afraid to do that. And, um, you know, grief takes many different forms, and it's been a reoccurring uh, event in my life. Um, I just, uh, I've just know that no matter how it manifests itself, and how you end up dealing with it. The one thing that's for sure is that being around good friends will always help no matter what. And um, I've met a lot of you guys on my travels and 
hackers are like the best people ever. No joke. I mean, I don't think I've ever been wronged by a hacker. Uh, really, this community is like full of the nicest people in the world. And so, um, you know, seek them out. And I, I, in my travels meeting you guys, I just, I, I don't know, I just wish that I could give the entire internet a hug right now. So, yeah, that's, that's my A block. Um, this area may look familiar to anybody that's, uh, that has a Hack 5 Challenge coin. Uh, so, I'm going to keep hiking a little bit and keep testing out this new gear and, um, and just kind of watch the sunset here over San Francisco. So, so yeah, that's my A block. I really, really, really wish I didn't have to do an episode this week. Even more so wish I didn't have, even if I did have to do an episode, wish I didn't have to do sponsors in this. So there will be some ads. Um, I guess that's just the name of the game. I'm sure my sponsors don't like hearing that. No offense, guys, just not really feeling like uh, this is the episode that I want it to be or that uh, that I wish that we had to shoot and so therefore whatever I'm just rambling at this point I just I just hope that you guys know that uh, you can always email feedback at hack5.org that goes to the whole team or if you just want to email me Darren at hack5.org I'll listen and um, we're going to take a quick break, and then I've got a conversation with uh, Declan McCullough from CNET. And uh, I'm going to end with a snippet from this week's uh, episode of ThreatWire. And then we'll be back in studio next week with regular stuff. Um, I'm going to be talking a lot about VPNs, about public key encryption. Uh, I'm going to be going, to, uh, going around the world um, here real soon. So... We're going to be talking about that. Okay, I'll see you guys on the other side, and um, thanks. Working in IT is tough. You're responsible for all of the problems, the systems, the networks, the users, and those problems happen at any time. Don't make your job any more difficult than it needs to be. There's a better way with GoToAssist by Citrix. All of the support tools are in one simple, integrated, cloud-based product. With GoToAssist, you can quickly and easily log incidents, track resolutions from the service desk. You can troubleshoot any problem, anywhere, anytime, no matter what. With GoToAssist's lightning-fast remote support, you can even do it from an iPad or like an Android device. And if you have GoToAssist monitoring set up, you can proactively get alerts on and be the first to know if there is an issue. I highly recommend GoToAssist. It sets up in just minutes and it'll make your IT life so much easier. So sign up for a special 30-day free trial. Visit GoToAssist.com and click on Try It Free button and use the promo code HAK5. That's GoToAssist.com, promo code HAK5.